Oke, okay, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, students. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. Fine. Fine, sir. Okay, very good. So, today we are going to start our English class, online English class. And for your information, I got some questions. Uh, some of your friends, I mean, one of you uh, texted me that they have some problems in understanding using the to and enough. So today we're going to repeat and more ex do more exercises today about this topic okay we studied already before but due to some questions and requests so we're gonna re repeat it again but it's okay yeah that's fine so if you have a problem so you may ask me to repeat the previous lesson okay the topic today is to, uh, about two and enough Okay, so before that, I'd like to introduce you. Yeah? In the end of the class, you will be able to identify the structure of two and enough. And you will be able to differentiate. Differentiate, it means to distinguish, to make the difference, yeah? the use of two and enough. Membedakan, the differentiate is membedakan. And then, the last but not the least, you will be able to create a sentence using two and enough. Okay, well, uh, so it will be easier for you because a uh, few weeks ago we did it already. So, but today it will be more exercises and I hope your understanding about this topic will be better. Okay, so feel free to ask if you have questions. You can interrupt me. Right, so two, right, two. I'm going to give you the example. This coffee is too hot to drink. Yeah, if you see two and after two here, two is followed by hot. And then what is hot? Dalam, dalam bagian kata, ini hot ini disebut apa? What is it called? Adjective. Adjective. adjective, that's right. Yeah, hot ini bukan kata benda, but it is adjective. So, to is followed by adjective. This coffee is too hot to drink. So, can we use very here? Can we use very here? Kira-kira cocok nggak, nyambung nggak kalau kita menggunakan very here? This coffee is very hot to drink. Yeah, I think the best the best to connect this word is this coffee is too hot to drink. Yeah, kopinya ini terlalu panas untuk diminum. Uh, kopi ini sangat panas untuk diminum. So what do you think? Dalam bahasa Indonesia, we can find the difference. Yeah, when we when we say very or sangat, it doesn't match. Yeah, it's not compatible. Gak cocok. Yeah. Kalau kita bilang kopi ini terlalu panas untuk diminum. Kopi ini sangat panas untuk diminum. Terlalu panas is the best, okay? It's more uh, accepted here, okay? Lebih berterima di sini too, ya. Yeah. Not very, ya. Yeah. This coffee is too hot to drink. Ruangan ini terlalu dingin yeah. untuk digunakan sebagai apa namanya untuk jemur pakaian misalkan ya this room is too cold too cool ya ya not very cold karena di sini ada nyambungnya untuk diapakan ya this coffee is too hot to drink okay i hope you understand another example he worked too hard to pass the exam 
Okay, here look at what is happening after two here. Apa yang kata apa di setelah tu? Ku itu ini diikuti oleh apa? Adverb. Adverb. Adverb ya. Yeah. Hard itu adalah adverb, kata keterangan. He work hard. Dia belajar dengan rajin. Dia belajar dengan giat. Dia bekerja dengan giat. Nah, giat is hard. In English is uh, hard. So why don't we say hardly, sir? If it is adverb, why don't we say hardly? Oh, nggak bisa. Hardly is different word. Kalau kalian menggunakan hardly itu different word, ya. Hampir tidak artinya. So he work too hard to pass the exam. So the conclusion here is to can be followed by adjective and can be followed by ad adverb. Yeah. This one is an example of to followed by adjective. This coffee is too hot to drink. Hot is adjective. He worked too hard to pass the exam. Hard here is as adverb, kata keterangan. Ya, yeah, it translates into bahasa Indonesia. Dia bekerja terlalu giat. Terlalu, uh, apa namanya, terlalu keras. Yeah. Okay, to is used to mean more than sufficient or more or less than necessary. So what is the function of to? To, when we want to express about what we mean more than sufficient or more or less than necessary. What is that? Okay. To itu digunakan untuk menunjukkan sesuatu yang lebih dari cukup. Ya, lebih dari cukup. Atau kurang dari yang dibutuhkan. Ya. Kurang sangat kurang, eh kurang dari yang dibutuhkan. Too small, ya. This for example like this shirt is too small. Berarti kurang dari yang dibutuhkan. Ya, too small. For example like you you take size S. Your and then your size supposed to be L. Pakaian kalian adalah L ukurannya. Tapi yang ada adalah S. Your mom give you a shirt and the size is S. Jadi orang ibu kamu membelikan baju ulang tahun misalkan ukurannya S. Oh mom, this shirt is too small to wear. Ya, yeah. this shirt is too small. Terlalu kecil buat saya ini. Ya, yeah. ya, yeah, you need L. Or this shirt is too big. Ya, yeah, terlalu besar. Ya, yeah. so that what we mean more than sufficient, lebih dari cukup atau lebih atau kurang dari yang dibutuhkan. Ya, lebih terlalu berlebih dari yang dibutuhkan atau terlalu kurang yang di, telah, dari yang dibutuhkan. That is the function of to. Sufficient mean cukup ya. Okay, any problem, any question here? Now, if we don't have question, then we move to the next. Okay. So ini yang tadi ya. So this is an example like we had before. The shirt is too big for me. We cannot buy it. It costs too much. Yeah. Big here is adjective. Much here is adverb. So just another example ya. Two can be followed by adjective and also can be followed by adverb. Big is adjective. Much is adverb. That is. Those are another example. Any problem? No? Okay, very good then. Okay, now here is more explanation. Okay, more. To can be followed by adjective. Yeah, like before, we said before. This shirt is too expensive. To and then followed by expensive. Expensive, what is part of speech? Ini bagian kata sebagai apa dia expensive? Adjective, sir. Adjective, that's right, yeah. It costs thirty dollars, and I have only twenty-five dollars. So it means it is too expensive for you. You can afford only twenty-five dollars, but the shirt costs thirty dollars. So it means the shirt is too expensive. Terlalu mahal berarti ya. Okay, so follow the adjective. Okay, too much plus uncountable noun. Yeah. 
to also can be followed by much and then followed by uncountable noun. Jadi much uncountable noun. What is uncountable noun? Uncountable noun it means kata benda kata yang tidak dapat dihitung. Ya, yeah. when it is uncountable noun, so here it should be many or much. Much, sir. Much, right. Sesuatu yang kamu tidak dapat menghitungnya, maka di situ adalah much. Ya, yeah. well, for example, like what? Water. Ya, yeah. I drank too much water. I buy too much sugar. I drink too much uh, soda. Okay, so you cannot count water or an, an, another liquid. Jadi yang uncountable itu biasanya yang, yang liquid. Cairan-cairan, that is, ya, yeah, biji-bijian, ya, yeah, pasir, ya, yeah, gula, that is uncountable. And you cannot count it. Ya, yeah, so then, too much water, not too many water or not too many sugar, but too much sugar, okay? So, I really need to go to the bathroom. I drank too much water, now I really need to go to the bathroom. So, here is an example too, and then much, and then uncountable noun. What is the uncountable noun here? The water. The next is too can be followed by many, and then plus countable noun. What is countable noun? So, the opposite of uncountable noun. Yeah, opposite-nya, kebalikannya, countable noun. It mean you can count it, yeah. Like what? You can count it eggs. Can you count? Can you count eggs? Saya nggak menghitung telur. Bisa, sir. Yes, you can. Chairs. Can you count it? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Okay. House. Can you count it? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 So those are countable noun. So when is it countable noun? Two followed by many and then countable noun. Not much, yeah. For example, she put too many eggs into the cake. The recipe said three and she used five. Yeah. She put too many eggs into the cake. The recipe said three and she used five. And again, this is another example. Dia menaruh terlalu banyak telur ke dalam kue itu ya resepnya bilang tiga tapi dia menggunakan lima it mean too many eggs right okay next is verb and too much ya yeah, verb followed by too and much for example like he complains too much he eats too much ya yeah, too and then much He complains too much. Yeah. He's such a negative attitude. Yeah. He, he has such a negative attitude. So verb can be followed by to and much. Yeah. He complains too much. He eats too much. He sleeps too much. Yeah. Understand? Right. So these are two. Okay, now we move to, we can skip this one, enough. Now we move to enough, right? Enough, okay, how, how to use enough? Is your coffee hot enough to drink? Yeah. Is your coffee hot enough to drink? Okay, look at this one, hot and then enough. So we were talking about enough. Okay, when we were talking about two, To is followed by adjective, yeah. Too much or too too expensive. But look at here, too and then expensive or adjective. But here enough, adjective first and then enough, yeah. Adjective first and then enough. Is your coffee hot enough to drink, right? So adjective and then enough. He didn't work hard enough to pass the exam. Yeah. Adverb and then enough. Yeah. A bit different. Yeah. From uh, the previous topic to. Yeah. To is followed by adjective or adverb. But enough 
adjective and verb coming before enough. Jadi posisinya berbeda ya. Ya, yeah. oke. Okay. Enough goes after adjective and adverb. Jadi enough itu ya, apa namanya letaknya itu setelah adjective dan adverb. So and then it is to mean sufficient. Dan apa sih fungsinya? What I, what do we, what does it mean? Jadi untuk menyatakan sesuatu kalau kita itu cukup. Ya, yeah. is your coffee hot enough? Apakah Susu kamu cukup panas untuk diminum, ya. He didn't work hard enough. Apakah uh, dia dia tidak bekerja cukup keras ya untuk lulus uh, ujian, ya. So that is the difference between enough and two. Okay, you got it? Understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now we continue to the next. Okay. Enough after adjective and adverb. She cannot get a job. She is not experienced enough. Experience also adjective and then enough. And then before noun. Okay, here is another thing that you have to remember. Enough is not only followed by adjective. And uh, enough is not only for uh, coming after adjective and adverb. But also before nouns. We can use enough before nouns the examples we have to stand there were not enough chairs so enough chairs so what happened when we use we jo when we combine enough and and noun yeah the position is changing yeah the position is changing look at this one here before when we use adjective the place or we place enough after adjective or adverb but when we use noun or we combine it with noun the position we are we place enough before noun this is an example we had to stand there were not enough chairs yeah enough first and then noun you got it understand yes sir Okay, that is the difference. The dif that the some differences when we use adjective and when we use noun. Okay, okay, we're gonna skip this one. We are not rich enough. We can't. Okay, we skip this one because we did it already. So why not we go to the this one? Okay, this one. Enough. Enough can be followed by noun, countable or uncountable. Yeah, it can be countable or can be uncountable. We don't have enough people for a soccer team. We have eight people and a team needs at least 11. So when the team needs 11, or when it is required 11 and then you have only eight, it means you don't have enough people. Yeah, or when you have to buy a shirt, for example, the price of the shirt is $30 and you have $25. It means you don't have enough money to buy the shirt. Yeah. So money is now. Yeah. It can be uncountable and it can be countable. It doesn't matter. Okay. And the next is enough, adjective and enough. Yeah. Like we said before, we Sorry, kid, you are not old enough to buy an alcohol. You are 19 and the minimum age is 21. So it means your age, you are not old enough. Okay, here, uh, enough also can be, can be placed up to verb. I don't exercise enough. I need to go to the gym more than once a month. Yeah, I don't exercise enough. I don't sleep enough. I don't uh, eat enough. Okay. So the position is verb and then enough. Verb and then enough. It's just like adjective plus enough. So verb plus enough, adjective plus enough. But when it is noun, enough and then noun. 
enough and then noun. Adjective and verb, adjective plus enough and the verb plus enough. Okay, I don't sleep enough. I don't study enough. Okay, study is verb and then enough after that. I hope you understand, you got it? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. so now we are going to have exercises, okay? Okay, so I'm going to give you the exercises here. So please answer these exercises. We did it already, this one. This one. Number one, can you answer number one? The computer was blah, 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 so we didn't buy it. Which is the answer? Yo, kira-kira mana jawabannya? The computer was blah, 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 so we didn't buy it. Too expensive. Is it too expensive? Yes, yes that's right. The computer was too expensive, so we didn't buy it. Okay, number two, they didn't have blah, blah, blah for all the people at the wedding reception. Yeah, okay, what's the answer? A, B, or C? No food. What is that? Enough, enough food? Enough food, food enough food. or enough food? Hmm? Food enough or enough food? Enough food, sir. Enough food, okay. Food, what is it food? Food adjective or noun? Noun, sir. Okay, when it is noun, remember when it is noun, when it is noun, so the place for enough is before noun, not after noun, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, yes. right, so number three, this book is blah, blah, blah to read. I don't understand it at all. Too difficult. Too difficult. Oh, difficult, sir. Which one? Too, too difficult. This book is too difficult to read. I don't understand it at all. That's right. Very good. Yes. More exercises. Okay. Number number one. I am shaking. I didn't blah 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 this morning. Shaking it up, ah, gemetar ya. Okay. What is the answer here? A, B, C, or D? Can you answer? Which we can you choose the best answer here? What is the best answer here? It enough, sir. Oh, what is that? It enough, sir. B. It enough. Yes, that's right. I didn't eat enough. So wh why do you choose I and uh, B eat enough? So look at this one here. I didn't. Didn't. This is help. Uh, ini kan bukan kata kerja ya. Nah, this sentence need verb. Uh, kalimat ini membutuhkan uh, apa namanya kata kerja, ya. Karena tidak punya kata kerja, jadi yang hilang di sini adalah kata kerja. So we have to find yang manakah kata kerja di sini. Nah, B lah dia yang masuk berarti karena B di sini it di sini ada kata kerja. Oke? Okay? Okay, very good. Number two. It is blah, blah, blah to wait. I will live without him. What is the answer? Too long, sir. Too long. Yeah, that is right. Eh, udah terlalu lama. Kalau nunggunya nih, okay, I will live without him. Okay, very good. Too long. It is too long to it. I will live without him. Okay, very good. Next, number three. I didn't get blah, blah, blah at home and I am depressed. Yang mana nih? Love, no. Love enough? 
or enough love or too love or too much love. Hmm. Can love. you? What? Which one? Who is talking? Who is talking? Siapa tu yang ngomong? Can you tell me your name? Siapa itu? Sahril. Uh, oh, Sahril. Okay, Sahril. So, which is the answer, Sahril? Love enough. Love enough. Why? Kenapa pakai love enough? Butuh kata kerja, sir. Eh. Ah. Uh, enough. Itu. Love. Eh, itu. Enough love, sir. Enough love. Now you must be careful. Love. When it's become verb and then become noun, itu sama ya. Love, ketika dia menjadi kata benda dan menjadi kata kerja, itu sama. Love, love, ya. So, so what do we need here? What does the sentence need? Kata ini kalimat ini butuh apa sih? Apa sih yang hilang? Subjeknya ada, predikatnya ada. I didn't get, ya. Saya nggak mendapatkan. Berarti predikatnya atau kata kerjanya ada. Berarti apa yang hilang di sini? Noun, sir. Noun. Objeknya yang hilang ya kan? Nah, kira-kira yang objek, kira-kira yang mana di sini yang cocok? Enough love. Sir. Enough love. Ya, saya nggak mendapatkan kasih sayang yang cukup. Ya, at home I'm depressed. Makanya saya jadi agak depresi. Ya, I didn't get enough love. Ya, tidak kasih sayang yang cukup. Ya, love di sini kata benda. Kenapa? Karena di sini sudah ada kata kerjanya. Nggak mungkin kata kerja dua-dua ya. Get love. Right. Right, so and the position when when enough is connected with love, ketika enough itu bergabung dengan kata benda, posisinya bagaimana? Enough first or noun first? Enough first. Okay, enough first. Kata enoughnya duluan, kemudian diikuti kata benda. Tapi ketika enough itu digabungkan dengan kata sifat, gimana? Enough lesser. Enough in the last, okay. Adjectivenya, adjek kata sifatnya atau adjectivenya first, and then enoughnya. Kalau dia berdengar kata kerja, verb, verb too much. No, no, verb. Kalau dia, kalau enough itu digabungkan dengan kata kerja, bagaimana dia? Gimana posisinya? How do you lesser? Ah, position of enough. Where is the position of enough? In the last, sir. In the last? In the last? Nih. I didn't eat enough. Okay. I didn't eat enough. Jadi posisinya sama dengan ejek, ejektif. Okay. In the in the last. That's right. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So number four. The door was blah 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 narrow to push the piano through, so they had to use the window. Which one is the best answer? Two sir. Two sir. Two. Two sir. Two B. Yeah. The the door was too narrow to push the piano through. Okay, that's right. Very good. Number five. There wasn't. There wasn't. What's the answer? No. Enough. Yeah. Not enough. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Enough. 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 So just like to say e enough. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Enough, not enog, but enog, but enough, yeah, enough. Gh in the last we say enough. Okay, the answer is A. Now the last number six. I cannot do these exercises because it's too difficult. Artinya apa? Answer. This exercise is too difficult to do. Okay, that's right. This exercise is too difficult to to do. Okay, right. So I hope you understand. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. If you haven't done the 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 exercises in psychology, you have to do that. Or if you fail, you can do that again. Okay. 
do it again if your score is less than 70 uh, then you have to do it again okay at least you must get 90 or 100 okay all right i think that's all for today oh do you have a question no sir no question sir. okay i hope you understand thank you very much for joining our class today have a nice day we close by reciting alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.